Sagittarius, welcome back. This is your ghosting reading. If you've been ghosted, whether it's romantic, friends, family, whatever the connection is, and you are completely clueless as to what's happened, this reading is for you. This is to allow you to have some clarity so that you can release, surrender, to cut the cords, to move on, to move forward, to at least lay it down so that you can carry on with your life. If you're new to my channel, welcome my loves. I am Simone, the moon goddess. All right, Sagittarius, let's get into your readings. Spirit guides, assist me in connecting to Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars signs. Jupiter, if you feel inclined, assist me in delivering the messages and channeling the messages that Sagittarius needs to know for their highest good. And as always, may all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to none. Amen. Ashe, so it is. Let's get it. So your main reading, I'm going to use the Wild Unknown Tarot deck. And I have four other oracles, oracle decks. I have the La Vampire. I have the Moonology deck, the Romance Angels deck, and the Angel Answers oracle. I won't use all of them, depending on how your, your story flows will determine which oracle deck I use. All right, let's get into it, Sagittarius. Make it nice and clear, Spirit Guides. So first I'm gonna go with what's the energy or what was the energy surrounding this connection. Okay, I think that's reverse. It sure is. All right, so you have people, people, people. You have a father of wands and a mother of pentacles reverse. So king of wands, queen of pentacles reverse. So Sagittarius, you are obviously the father of wands energy in this connection, the mother of pentacles. Um, I feel with this connection, the feminine energy, not necessarily the person, but the feminine energy within the connection was a little inverted. Um, lots of passion here lots of maybe both people wanting to lead you know maybe it was um, very action oriented there was no real receiving with this connection there might have been a lack of nurturing or softness even maybe a sense of of allowing allowance a sense of allowance a sense of flow wasn't really within the connection this could literally this could be the energy of the connection or this could be the people all right so i'm seeing the father of wands which i'm assuming is you as as that is fire um you also have leo and aries and the mother of pentacles virgo capricorn taurus um yeah but earth energy you have the lovers here at the bottom as well. So Gemini. Maybe the two of you were very alike in some way. Let's see what's your energy. All right. So that was a general energy of the of the connection. Let's see what's your energy within it, Sagittarius. <laughs> it's the energy of Sagittarius within this. I think a little start, a little, was it a hard start for you? All right, you have the devil, the two of wands, and the sun. Light and dark. And you were kind of like going back and forth between the two. And when I say light and dark, I mean maybe you felt as if you could be seen or you wanted to show yourself within this connection. And then another minute, you kind of pull back your energies. Um, feel like it it was a type of connection that you could see again you saw something similar there was like a mirroring happen happening between you and this person so maybe again both people kind of lacked in the feminine and by that i mean the receptivity the passivity the um the surrender the allowance there was a lot of fire, a lot of heat all the time. There wasn't really coldness. And when I say cold, I mean like downtime, like coolness within the connection it was always hot, right? I feel like for you, you were caught between 
showing your shadow and showing your light self showing what's deeply hidden within you and showing and being in the spotlight within the connection and it was like going back and forth between the two energies the fool is here at the bottom so there was this a sense of newness you felt new perhaps what's this person's energy what's the person's energy it's a person's energy here, Spirit Guides. Two cards. Wow, okay. All right. <laughs> There's so much fire here. I'm thinking that you were dealing with another fire sign. You have the Father of Swords as the first card. This person is very, perhaps older, um, very wise, very in their mind cerebral very cerebral type of energy you have the ace of wands the father of cups and the son of pentacles so there's a lot of people here as well maybe this person had a lot of different personalities you couldn't quite figure them out um or very multi-layered very multifaceted two fathers here so fathers would be kings so you got father of swords king of swords the Ace of Wands, the Father or King of Cups, and the Son of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles. There's a lot of people here and a lot of masculine energy as well. So it's how interesting it is that I said from the beginning, I feel as if there wasn't a lot of feminine energy within the connection. No, we're not talking about gender. We're talking about energy, right? There's, a lot, there's not a lot of feminine energy here at all. Even with the Sun, masculine energy. Um, the devil is Capricorn's energy. Capricorn is an earth sign, so there's a bit of feminine. But I feel like that was very much inwards on your side. It's funny how you have the two of wands and they have the ace of wands. So together it was like you guys could create, there was creative energy here, strong creative energy. Perhaps you were the one that could drive they, this person that feels like they had the spark, like the initial, or they they um, inspired you, and then you would take that energy and create something from it. Um, or they were the ones that would initiate, and then you would take the energy and go with it. Is this person some kind of business owner, investor? very spiritual very spiritually like i feel like this person is older than you sagittarius very strategic all right very strategic so perhaps maybe they ghosted because they're business owners i feel like they they're very they're building something here maybe they are again they are maybe they're the ones that people rely on so a boss a boss of some sort they're the ones that people rely on to get things done got the seven of ones at the bottom hmm seven of ones ten ten when i just looked at i just happened to look at my counter seven of ones i feel like they their life is very up and down and and i I'm just getting that they are a business owner or somebody in high, high, like they hold a lot of responsibility. So you can't really, can't really, like y'all will make plans and this person will have to break them because they got other things going on. And perhaps that's why they've disappeared as well. Let me see what's the energy moving forward with this connection. You got the five of cups and the seven of wands reverse seven of swords reverse sorry seven of swords reverse five of cups seven of swords reverse i don't feel like there's anything that's going to come out of this my loves i i feel like there's just more sadness here about three of cups so maybe it was just a beautiful time like it was a bubble of time and space 
and yeah I feel even if they come back I feel like there's a sense that there's sadness here with the five of cups and the seven of swords reverse is telling me potentially coming back coming back around again look at that wow three of swords at the top no the three of swords and the three of cups came out together for leo and it's funny because traditionally the three of cups is about celebration but when i saw it my initial thought was okay potentially somebody else is involved here maybe that's what the father of cups father of swords maybe they are a family they have a family with somebody else or there's some kind of responsibility here to somebody else and then there's three of swords you see that's a whole tied up bound situation here some truth that's bound in in yeah no i don't like it i don't i don't i don't like this give me one more card for their for them for their energy moving forward How is this possible? The Three of Pentacles. Now, when those other two cards came out, the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups, the Three of Pentacles showed up as well. Y'all saw how it flipped from a completely different part of the deck. Yeah, no. Either they're very much tied up in their money, their finances, their businesses, their projects, their fathers or mothers or they they're like the head of a family or head of a business or some sort i feel like they're more tied up in that they may come back but it's more it feels more like a just checking in to see how you're doing type of vibe as opposed to less reconnect and the three of wands at the top three of pent three of swords at the bottom so this is all four threes now three of swords at the bottom three of wands at the top you see how they're tied they're tied into something here they're tied in to something here yeah my loves yeah let this one go let this one go and that's nuts because on top of the chariot is the three of cups let this one go heal the, the two of cups move forward and find people that you can enjoy your life with your friends your family whatever there's you no know, three is a crowd let me get your final message my loves it's the final message for sagittarius Well, these two cards came out together for Aquarius. I'm sh pretty sure. I could, no, actually, no, they didn't. You got the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like let this one go, at least for now. Mm -hmm. There's too much. You see that? You see how much confusion that is. There's just too much. There's no clarity here. And then the eight of pentacles, I mean, it's a spider web. I feel like this person is very much in their own, because the eight of pentacles could be work, right? Projects, their own. They're too busy building and, and nurturing their web, right? Their networks, their groups, their connections. I think, I think it's time for you to focus on your own projects here. Lay your wands down, my loves. I'm telling you, there's that three of wands. The tower at the top, yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, let this one go, my loves. And the fool, start over. Start over. The ace of pentacles is under the fool, wow. And then, which is a new start. And then you got the three of swords on top of the fool. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Y'all deserve so much more. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. All right. You have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. 
Did they say something about friends? I feel like I said something about friends at some point, but I don't remember now. You have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And at the heart is separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. This card has shown up so many times in these readings. So I feel like a lot of V being um, pulled in another direction. Growth, growth, growth. You have deception here. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Uh, under separation is give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So that might be for some. For some, it's like release the ex. Um... For some, it might be focused on something new. Something new is coming in. So focus your energy on that newness. All right, Sagittarius, that is your reading, my loves. I hope these messages have supported you. Drop a comment and let me know if this resonates. Give me a thumbs up because you know how YouTube works. And um, subscribe to the channel if you're a new viewer. So until your next reading, Sagittarius, be well. Laters.